Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. We're here for our first colouring chat of March. I did want to film this on Sunday the 1st of March, but time got away from me. So we're doing this on the 2nd. You'll be seeing this on the 3rd, which will be Tuesday. Um, we're doing... I'm going to do one from uh, Storybook Darlings by Kelly Horton. Everybody said just do what I liked. The one person did say they liked Red Riding, um, not Red Riding Hood. Yes, Red Riding Hood. So that's what I'm going to do actually because I actually think it is a really nice picture. It's not too complicated. The tree's already pre-coloured. I'm assuming it's because it's supposed to be night time and that's the moon. Or at least dusk. So we're going to start this one. We're going to use Prismacolor pencils on this one. And then what we'll do is next time I colour in it, maybe I'll use the markers. Um, I just want to see how different pencils and things go down on this paper because it's not very thick paper. It's also not the thinnest, so I'm just looking for my sharpener, which I put in my tin of sharpening so I know where it is. So this is an adult channel. We have discussed adult topics. It is in no way, shape or form meant for children or aimed at children. Just a quick disclaimer. Um, yes, my little peach cream is getting very short. I do have an extender for it somewhere. Are they in this one? I don't think they're in this one actually, I think they're in the other one. No, that's in the other one, I'll find it. It's here somewhere. My table is covered in junk again. I've done a bit more on my diamond painting, not a huge amount, it is still just the um the corner where it's all the same, the black colour, so I'm still doing that, so. I always seem to, for some reason, start on skin first. I don't know why, it is just the way I do it, do things, so. How are we all, anyway? How have we been over the last few days since our last catch-up? Thank you for all the lovely comments regarding my completed pages. I think I completed 11 in February. I normally complete around 10, which I think is quite good. I know there are people who complete much more, but obviously I work part-time, I run my own business, and I have a small child to take care of. Um, so it does sort of limit the amount of time I've got to spend on the hobby. Um, if I didn't run my own business, I'd have a lot more time, but you know. The business is there for me to have extra savings. It makes it my salary up a little bit. It's all above board. I declare it all to the tax man every every year. It's only the second year I've done it, so. But it's those. It's a little bit of extra money that actually goes into my bank account, goes into my savings account, and it's there for holidays if we need it to have spending money, or for treats for Jennifer and me, or you know maybe it'll pay for some extra pencils if I need them but you know that's why I do it I really like this book it's really the pictures are stunning so far I've only I've only started one other picture this month and that's one Hannah Lynn one from I've got it here because I started it the other day I haven't finished it yet um, Enchanted Faces, Mermaids, Fairies, Fantasy Coloring Book, but it's the large version, not the small one. But even so, because they're such big pictures, the faces are really big and, and stuff, I've only got hair, hair, eyes and a little bit of background to go, so I might even try and finish that tonight. I do like a good Hannah Lynn picture, as you know. But I don't just want to colour Hannah Lynn. I do like colouring other things. I'm still trying to colour in all my books. Although I have got a couple of books. The um, the Jade Sun Grey Scales that I coloured in last month. I want to colour in again this month because I really enjoyed them. Like I said, there's one St. Patrick's one in the Kauai Grey Scale book. So I'm going to film that the day before St. Patrick's Day and put it up on St. Paddy's. It's a really nice little picture. So I'm just going to come down here and do her hands. 
and her arm, is that her arm there? No, that's not. It's hard to tell. Let me just put that on her hand. So if that's her arm, that's her her waist, her arm goes up here under her cape. So this is the back of her cape. That's okay then. Sometimes it is hard to tell what bit is what on a picture. I will have to break out my... I've got another one of these because I ordered one um, open stock. So I might have to break that one out soon. I use this colour a lot though. This one I use as well. What other ones are this one? Hmm. So, yeah, there's lots of different colours you can use when you're doing skins. And I've lost my sharpener again. There it is. I'm not with it today, I'll tell you. You know, it's been one of those Mondays. Mondays are bad enough as it is. Oops, that's the wrong one. I just haven't finished with this one. <laughs> Mondays, they're bad enough as it is, aren't they? Let's be honest. Um, Mondays. Now, that's her arm, but it looks like she's wearing something because it's got buttons on it. So we're just going to do a bit more on her face. Her face is very pale. It is pink. You can just about see it. Um, I can see it better than you. So I don't really know what markers are going to be like on this book because the paper is very thin. Obviously it will bleed through. That goes without saying. So what we'll do is we'll, I'll do this one and then I'll pick another one and I'll do it with markers and probably off camera. Maybe this month, maybe not. Just to see what happens so Jennifer got some more crayons on the weekend and a new scribble two new scribbly pads because she just likes to scribble on everything and it doesn't bother me at all so we just bought two pads just plain white paper she can scribble on them to her heart's content and she does and she's actually holding the crayons and the pens properly now whereas before she was sort of like holding them like like that and just scribbling she's actually sort of holding them like now and she can draw circular shapes so that's really sweet when I noticed she was holding the pen properly I was like oh my god so it's not just she can actually draw circles now which is very sweet because they do a lot of painting and and stuff at nursery as well which is good and I think that obviously helps but because I just let her go wild at home with the pens you know not on the walls or on reading books and stuff like that but on paper I just let her get on with it I mean she scribbled on the cover of one of my colour in heaven magazines and you know what it doesn't matter do you know why because she sees mummy doing it and all she wants to do is copy mummy and I think that is the biggest compliment there is out there that she sees mummy doing something or daddy occasionally and she wants to do what mummy and daddy are doing so you know she wants to eat what mummy and daddy are eating and she wants to do what mummy and daddy are doing so if mummy's colouring she doesn't know that I'm doing it in a specific way all she sees is me putting a pencil or a marker pen on a piece of paper and making marks. Now as she gets older she'll realise there's more to it than just scribbling. She already tries in some cases to colour inside the lines of a colouring book. She's not very good at it yet but she does try and it's the sweetest thing watching her try. She's trying because she sees mummy colours and mummy colours pretty much, not always within the lines, but mummy tries to colour within the lines. So she sees what mummy does and she wants to do what mummy's doing. And it is, I think, the best compliment in the world. 
she wants to be like her mum. Or his dad, occasionally it's a Paul does something, like Paul's listening to music on his headphones, so she wants to do it. She knows what headphones are for, and she wants to um, play the guitar. She's seen him play the guitar, because he plays the guitar, and she's seen him do that, so she wants to try it. She has got a toy one, and she does play with it occasionally, and she plays the keyboards. Well, she makes a noise with the keyboards. Because she sees her daddy doing it, she wants to have a go herself. So she was very sweet. Um, now, where's that little one gone? There it is. This afternoon, because I came to pick her up from my mum and dad's, where she stays on a Monday, just to save us a bit of money on childcare, because it obviously it's very, very expensive. And uh, my dad had taken her out for a walk on the harness, on the reins, uh, down to the river to have a look at the water. She loves looking at the water. She's like me, she, she's a water baby. And um, they were just got back just as I pulled up and Dad stopped and said, look, there's Mummy, pointing towards the car. And she was watching me pull up and she watched. And I could see her going, Mama, Mama. I could see her mouth saying the words, which was really sweet. I thought it was just lovely. So that was cute. She does really adorable things. Although well, not waking me up at 20 to 12 last night. And that's early for her. Normally it's around 1 o'clock. But yeah, she woke me up at uh, 20 to 12. Crying. Wanting a bit of a cuddle. She might have had a bad dream, who knows. But she needed something. So I just brought her out and cuddled her for a bit. Until she was ready to go back down into a cot. And and snuggle down. And I said to her, said to her do you... Do you want anything else? And she, she was fine. She didn't want a drink and she just went back to sleep. Which was good. Um, and then I went back to sleep and then at one o'clock I had a nightmare. And I woke up. And I remember my dreams. Because a few years ago, not so much now, I trained my mind to remember my dreams. I would wake up, write them down. So if you do that every night... You just, when you wake up, you write down the basis of the dream, your impressions, any colours, any voices, words, people, symbols, shapes, anything that stands out. And eventually, how you felt in the dream. And eventually, your mind, your brain will remember your dreams. So even though I don't write them down, although I did write down this morning's, although I don't write them down as much I am still very very good at remembering my dreams and I woke up and I had a bad nightmare it woke me up and I don't normally have nightmares it's very rare for me to have a nightmare and it woke me up and I was awake then and because because I can remember it my mind dwells on it now Paul has nightmares occasionally but he then tends not to uh, remember them. And uh, he's just left with an unsettling feeling. But I remember mine, so of course then I'm thinking about them for the next hour, if not longer. And it was quite a scary dream. It felt so scary. Um, so I got up and I had a drink, watched a bit of TV, and then once sort of got over it seems silly because you know it's only a dream you know it's not true but I needed that time to just get over the the feeling because my heart was racing and you know it was awful I just then went and, and thought right that's it that's enough I'm, I can go back to bed now and I did and I went back to sleep and then the next thing I knew it was time to get up and I was like oh no well, it was a little bit before time to get up, but I woke up early again. I'm terrible at waking up early. It happens all the time. Yeah, there's an ear here somewhere. I can't really see it, but it is there. Um, so I woke up again a little bit early and uh, about 20 past five. I'm, I'm normally up at 10 to six. But I actually woke up at uh, ten past five, 
and I was very, 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 very tired. Very tired. So I had my breakfast and then I, I tend to doze off on the sofa again for, for a little bit, not for long, but for a bit until it's time to actually get up again. And then work was okay. As I said, nobody wants to go to work. Yeah, oh God, here we go. And I've said this and everybody agrees, even the managers. And then once you get on your way and you get into the office, it's fine. You just get on with the day. Um, and it was fine until the last call when I had a, an unhappy customer. And I don't blame her. I would have been as well. I'm not going to go into details, but I wouldn't have been particularly happy. But I was trying my best to help her out and she just wasn't taking it and I was trying to resolve it I was trying to get through to another team and the call dropped so I popped notes on let the manager know because I was due to go home and um, they said don't worry just go home put the notes on which I did and they'll sort it out she calls back I hope they resolve it for her because none of it this was her own fault so they should be able to So this colour is actually pomegranate. I'm not sure why I'm using pomegranate. I just thought it was a nice shade of reddish. It's a reddy purpley colour. It's quite nice. Because we're going to be doing this sort of at night time. It would look dark. Her cape would look darker anyway. So we'll put, we will put some lighter red in as well later. I've got here um, Crimson Lake, which is another nice colour. And... Scarlet Lake, which is a, another lovely red. So we'll just put the three colours down and see what happens. Like I said it's all learning, it's all a bit of fun. I, I, I'm not a person that has to have everything perfect. I mean, I'm sitting here now and I'm just enjoying colouring this in, doing the circular motions, just getting a little bit of red down on there. And I'm, I'm tired, I'm quite relaxed. So eBay was fairly good last month. This month, so far, not so good. But uh, I've had one, I had one sale that came through yesterday, but the way that the eBay timings work, it actually recorded as being on the 29th. It's very strange, I know, but that's the way it goes sometimes. But at the moment, I haven't had, well, I've had one sale I'm waiting on payment for. I had another sale last week that they still haven't paid for, and I've opened an unpaid case on them. I knew it'd be trouble, but hey. So sometimes you just know. Um, and I'm waiting for payment on those items. I've sent off offers to watchers. eBay call it offer to buyers. It's not because they're not buyers until they commit to buy. It's offers to watchers. Listed five yesterday. Listed five today. I've got five to go tomorrow. I didn't photograph today because I had to go to the doctors this afternoon. So I got in with Jennifer and we watched TV and we read some books and then we went back out. Normally I put her down for a nap and then when she goes to sleep I go off and do my photographing but today we didn't have the sleep. We went to the doctors, she had sleep for an hour then when we got back but I was too tired to do anything then so I just watched some telly and uh, yeah so But it is only the beginning of the month. I'm not worrying too much. I'm, it's like I say, I'm in profit overall for the year, which is where it matters. It doesn't matter if I, um, yeah, that's a nice red, lose money this month because I'm in profit overall. So I bought some extra bits last month. I don't need to buy anything like that this month. I'm set for now. So once I've cleared my fees, I'll be in profit. If I do want to order something, it'll be as soon as I hit the profit this month, as soon as I go into profit and there's enough money to order the item I want, I will then do it, but I'm not too worried about that. There we are. So this might take a little while. I'm not going to rush. I'm quite enjoying it. Just 
sitting here colouring the uh, hood in. So if you're happy, I'm happy. So I am slowly working my way through all the videos that people have posted with regards to their colouring for the month. For those of you that make videos, if I'm subscribed to you, I um, I will watch them. If you have a colouring channel, I may already be subscribed to you. Um, but if, just to be on the safe side, if you've got a colouring channel, just let me know you, that you have a channel that you actively post videos on it and I will go and see if I'm subscribed and if I'm not I'll subscribe to you quite happily because the more uh, colouring videos I get to watch the better because not only do I find colouring relaxing I find watching other people colouring very relaxing as well and I also like watching pencil reviews, swatches, uh, flip throughs, hauls are my favourite so if somebody does a haul and there's a book there I'm interested in I'll then look to see if they've done a flip through and if they have I'll watch the flip through because then it uh, gives me an idea of if I really do want the book. And that's how I found this one. And I really, really like this book. So like I said, I will be trying different pencils in here. To, and I'll let you know, once I've used up um, different pencils, so I'll try um, the Polychromos, the Black Widows in here, the main pencil sets that we all have. I haven't got Arteza yet though. If they don't hurry up and get their markers in that I want, I might just order their pencils because I want the skin tones. And the skin tone set is still out of stock. They told me three to four weeks or two to four weeks and it's been three, nearly four weeks now and they're still out of stock. And I've got the money just sitting there waiting. Um, and I'm just thinking that I want skin tones. I'm just going to go and buy, say, the Touch 5 or the Touch New skin tone set instead, which is cheaper. And then I'll save up again for the Artesas another time. But I could then get the pencils as well. So, just building up layers of this nice red. So yes, I am slowly looking at all your videos. I know I chop and change what I'm talking about. It's because I get distracted so easily by another thought. Um, so if you've posted a video of what you've coloured this month or last month, let me know down in the below. And if I am not a subscriber, I will go check your channel out and I will subscribe. Quite happily to do that for you, to give you a helping hand with subscribers. Because like I, I do find it very, very relaxing watching other people colour. I don't get to watch as many videos as I used to at the moment because Jennifer wants the BBs on all the time. But in the mornings before she gets up and in the evenings when she and Paul have gone to bed, if I'm, I'm on a night where I say I'm not colouring on camera, I'm not making a video, because I don't do it every night. I might make two or three videos one day. Today I'm just making this one. Another day, I might make three or four and do some flip throughs. But I won't, you know. I'll do them all and then I'll have a couple of days when I don't film and then I'll come think, right, I need to film a colouring chat. Oh, I've got a new book, I'll flip through that. I mean, I know some of the books I'm flipping through are quite old and you've seen them. But I just think they're nice to have on the channel. Especially if the books are new to me. And they are. Obviously they are new to me. I did finally, finally order Magical Delights by Clara Markova. So I'm hoping that that's not going to take too long to arrive now I'm hoping it's going to come quite soon um, but it is on order so it, they did say a few weeks I'm really looking forward to that because I know a lot of people love it a lot of people have got it I haven't yet so I'm really looking forward to having a good look through it properly and um oh. 
maybe colouring in it. Well, definitely colouring in it, that's why I'm buying it. But maybe we'll colour on camera one of the pictures. And when it arrives, I might do an unboxing so you get my first impressions as I see it for the first time. Because sometimes those can be quite good. So I got a new album the other day. Those of you who know me know that I collect records as well. And one of my favourite bands from the 80s has just released what is more than likely going to be their last studio album. And that's the um, Huey Lewis and the News. Because obviously Huey Lewis has lost his hearing, sadly. Um, due to what they call Menaria Syndrome or titanitis. He, titanitis, he can't hear properly. Um, so he can't uh, pitch, he doesn't know where to pitch his voice. So while it doesn't affect him every day, it affects him enough that he can't, you know, perform live uh, or record. Because basically if he has a good day and he'll call the band, by the time they've stopped what they're doing and made room in their schedule, his hearing's dropped again. So it's very sad. But his new album's really good. There's only seven tracks on it. And just because they ran out of tracks, you know, he, he lost his hearing before they finished recording the album. And I think it's a shame, but saying that, I'm grateful for the amount of music that he has given us over the years. Um, I think I've got pretty much all of his albums. I might be missing one of his cover albums, but I've got all their studio albums from the very first Huey Lewis in the News up to the new one, which is called Weather. And I've been lucky enough to see him in concert twice. Once back when they released Plan B in the UK, it had already been out um, in um, America for a while. I already had it because I ordered the American release because I thought, I ain't waiting until they release this in the UK. It could be any time, it could be years, and it actually was. But when they finally did release it in the UK, he, they did a, a tour, the Plan B tour, and I went to see them at the, what was at the time, the Burling, Birmingham Carling Academy. I think it's an O2 Academy now. Well, it was the last time I looked. So I went to, to see them there, I was very lucky. And then, uh, I think 2015, they did the Sports 30th Anniversary Tour. Sports is their most famous and well, most well regarded of the albums. We've got some of their most famous tracks on it like Heart and Soul, Heart of Rock and Roll and so on among others. Um, and uh, so they did a tour for that and I was lucky enough to see them. I wasn't going to go so I thought, now I've seen them. I don't need to see them again. And Paul was saying, are you sure? Are you sure? And, I, and then I sort of, sort of said, Paul, I really want to go and see Huey Lewis in the news. And <coughs> he managed to get tickets, which is great. I was really, really pleased that he managed to get them. Sorry, my throat's going. I'm just drinking some tea. I might have to get another drink in a minute. Um, yeah, so he was brilliant, he managed to get me the tickets and I was so chuffed, it was a brilliant concert. But then he was brilliant the first time. There are a few bands I have seen more than once, Huey Lewis is one of them, I think there's two bands, Huey Lewis is one of them. Um, there are bands I'd like to see again, or performers I'd like to see again, but uh, Huey Lewis and the News I've seen twice and then there's an Irish band from the Republic of Ireland called the Saw Doctors who I think I've seen five times I want to say, let me work it out Birmingham Glee Club, Wolverhampton City Hall, Froome the Coal Exchange and the Tram Shed, yeah five times I've seen them and if they toured again, I'd want to go and see them again. Oh, and the Manix. I've seen them more than once because Paul loves the Manix. So we try and go and see them if they tour. Been to see the Manix twice. But yeah, the Saw Doctors, I've seen them five times. Love the Saw Doctors. 
one of my apps. Okay, so I just stopped then because the, the camera reached 30 minutes, so it automatically stops at 30. So I took that opportunity to go and get myself a nice drink. Um, um, yeah. So yeah, I went to get myself an orange juice. So as I was saying, yeah, I've seen the Soul Doctors five times. I love their songs, got all their albums. Um, great band, go and uh, look them up on, on YouTube. There's a lot of their stuff on there. Very big in Southern Ireland, very big in America, parts of America. And uh, I just love their songs. So I like it, you know. I would go and see them. They don't tour very much these days because they're all getting older now. They've all got kids, grandkids, etc. So it's all just a matter of waiting, you know, see if they tour again. They are still together. I'm hoping they're going to do a new album. I'm, I've heard a rumour they're supposed to be. Oops. <laughs> Prisma colour problems. Broken nib. So, news from Black Widow. I messaged them because I wanted to know for sure whether or not they were bringing out another set. Now, they didn't say what size set they were bringing out. But they did confirm that yes, they were bringing out another set of pencils. And that originally they were hoping that they would be released in April or May. However, due to the coronavirus in issue in China, specifically where the pencils are manufactured, there's going to be likely a delay on them being um, released. So yes. It is happening. There will be more colours from Black Widow if you're a Black Widow fan like myself. I like the Black Widow pencils. There will be more. It's just we've got to wait for them because of the coronavirus outbreak. So they're not actually sure when they'll be out now. but So if you were holding off or if you were wanting to put them in a case, hold off because it is going to grow substantially. I believe it's 48. They didn't confirm the size though. But I do believe it is meant to be a 48 set. So I personally find that exciting. Because although I have some, have had some breakage issues with my um, Black Widows, it's not at a point where I'm thinking I don't want to carry on with them. It's the same with the prisms. They're so soft that you are going to get this problem. You know, like I said, I might be getting another set of the black with the of the prisms at some point. I might if I get a bonus at work. It's not been confirmed yet, so I'm not holding out for much hope. But they're still negotiating the pay rise, and that's usually all done and dusted before we hear about the uh, any bonus that we may get. I mean, it would be to say, well, you know what, I've got the Prisma colours, let's go and get something different. Yes, it really would be a nice, nice to say, go and get the Luminance or the Pablos or, um, I don't know, something else. But... I know I love, I like the Prisma colours. I like the Polychromos as well. So if I needed them, I'd be getting them. So to get enough money to buy a full set of, say, 150, sounds pretty good. And I should have enough money left over to get myself some colouring books as well. I hope. So we've been going a good 34 minutes now because like I said it reached the 30 minute mark where it switches itself off. This is where it's getting hard to see 
this section, what's her cape, what's not, that's her arm, that looks like a glove of, or a, a thing of some description, this has got to be part of her cape behind here, as has this because that's not going to be part of her body, so I'm just going to, and then here, this is the front of her cape. I'm just going to colour it all in red and then I'll sort of do the inside a lot darker. I mean, obviously not black. She's not Dracula. So this is her cape. In here would be her cape. And then this would be the inside of her cape. So just gone over her belt slightly. I'll get the um, razor on that later, and that would be the inside of her cape. So that's her arm. So that's fine. So I've got an orange juice now. Oh, I'm so thirsty. It's unreal. So as you can see, this one's getting quite short. It's not that short yet, um, but some of them are. I mean, I suppose because these are probably the more common colours, I could probably buy a 72 set and get most of them, but I don't really want to risk it because I don't know what colours are in which set. So I just want to um, get the 150 and then I'll just leave them in the box. And then as I need a colour, say for instance, oops, what other colours really short? Tuscan red is short, isn't it? I can't even find Tuscan red. It's not that short, but it's getting short as you can see. Um, these are some of the short ones. That one I've used a lot of. I could just, when I need to, get the the new one in and slide it in. I will have to find my extenders. I have got them, they are around somewhere. So. Well, you can see this is going to take a little while to do. So what have you all been colouring? What have you been up to? Have you got any good new books that I should know about that perhaps I haven't got? I'm always interested in any recommendations. Now I don't buy a lot from Etsy, I'm not going to lie. The main reason is the cost. Obviously I had to order Magical Delights. Um, from there it's the only place I could get it because uh, Amazon UK doesn't tend to get her books in for some reason so I have ordered that um, I know a lot of people like anime and and I'm not really into that at the moment that might change in in a year or two and I know a lot of people like Momo girls and things like that I'm not really into that either um, you saw what I did in the um, Colour in Heaven, which is by the author of uh, Rhapsody in the Forest and Minuet de Bonnet. Again, not normally the sort of stuff I pick up, but I really did enjoy that. So I guess there's something to think about there. It's just I'm not very good at animals. I mean, I was really pleased with my rabbit. I thought my rabbit came out absolutely stunning. But generally, I don't like colouring animals because I'm not very good at it so I do need to practice a bit more uh, we will have to, to see I 
I'm not worrying about the inside of a cape because I'm going to do that with the Tuscan red because it should be darker. So, so I'm really only doing the outside. As you can see, it does leave a lot of white gaps, but building up the layers certainly fills them in. And once I've finished, I'll go over it with the um, the blending pencil. Probably do that off camera. I'm very annoyed that my crimson lake is breaking because it's a nice colour. I'm hoping it's that's better. It's not broken that time. So I'm going to just finish the outside of the cape and I might do that inside bit with the Tuscan Red. Um, just to... Uh, get that part of it finished. I could be here all night doing this and all we've done really is her face, her hands and her cape. This is when I get bored, I'm doing the same thing over and over and over again. But it does look nice when it's done. I've run out of things to say now because there's not a lot. I was going to film a weekly vlog this week and guess what? I forgot to start it so I'll try again next week. There's not a lot happening at the moment, I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, it's just annoying that I think oh, I'll do that this week and then it, it gets to like almost bedtime and I'm like, ah, oh, I forgot to do it again. Forgotten. Oh dear, silly me. Oops, I will get the um, eraser out and go over the bits I've gone on her hair and. I won't leave it like that, don't worry. Yeah, I'm just, ch I'm so chilled, I could go to sleep right here. But I really would like to actually try and um, finish off my Hannah Lynn pictures. I've only got her hair and eyes to do, really, and a bit of the background. I also want to have a piece of cake and a cup of tea before bed. Got this lovely lemon cake from Lidl's. It is so scrummy. Because Paul bought cake on the weekend, but it's not my sort. It's raspberry marble cake, which is fine. He likes it. I'm not that keen. So I got a lemon one. Lemon cake is my favourite kind of cake. I just love lemon cake. 
And I was annoyed at him because he had a lemon drizzle one and he bought the raspberry one instead. I didn't buy the lemon. So I thought we'd have raspberry for a change. I said, I don't like raspberry. I do like raspberries. I like fresh raspberries. Particularly from my dad's garden. But, uh, yeah. So like I said, what I'll do is I will go over this again with the blending pencil later. Just to make sure that it's all looking nice. Like I said, I'll use the Tuscan Red on the uh, inside of the cake just to give it a bit of darkness. Oops, we've curled over the page before. Never mind. It's just the way I'm leaning on the pad because I'm left handed. And yes, I still do want to finish off a couple of whips this month, or at least one. So I've got uh, one in Lost Ocean that I'm doing with fine liners. I would like to finish that one. Um, but uh, I wouldn't mind finishing the um, title page for Enchanted Forest, which I was doing with the um, Ink Tent, and I haven't finished it, so. No, I love this colour. This colour. Oh, this colour is to die for this Tuscan Red. I'm just going to put a little bit up here in these folds, just to, which I've already done it with one colour, I'm just going to darken it off with this, because this is, oh, this beautiful colour. We'll just pop it on the inside there as well. And we're going to just come in here. See, that's actually the inside of a cape as well, but there you can see it's a lot. I've only put a light layer on, and then we'll go over it with the bright red. And we can go over this bit as well. It just gives it that little bit of it's darker in, in the inside of a cape. Remember, I used this pencil, the reason it's so short, on a picture in Jade Summer's Grimm's Fairy Tales on the Prince Charming's shirt. And I managed to make it look quite velvet by using this colour. So that's that. And I'll just get the red ink again. Oh dear me. It is hard work. There we are. So we've got a bit darker in there as well and some light on the top. It's just to differentiate that it's the inside of the cape, not the outer bit. The only thing I don't like, I'm not keen on this paper because of the... white bits that are showing through so I will go over it with the um, other one uh, with the blending blender and that'll get rid of some of the um, white lines but there we go, that's a bit better. Okay, let's zoom out and have a look at what we've got. So, so far we haven't done much. We've done her skin and we've done her cape. And that has taken us 50 minutes, pretty much. So I'm gonna call that a night for tonight. I hope you've enjoyed this colour and catch up, colour and chat. Um, and we'll continue with um, 
Little Red Riding Hood from Kelly Horton's Dairy Book Darlings um, in a couple of days. I will tidy it up and, and get rid of any of the bits in her hair or where it's gone over like that and I'll probably get the blender pencil out tomorrow and uh, uh, blend this all in before we start on the next part which will be probably her hair or her, her t-shirt and her gloves or gauntlets. Um, yeah so I will see you all in a couple of days. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thing, thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber and if you are a subscriber don't forget to hit that notification bell um, so that you'll get notified every time I post a new video and I'll see you soon. Bye now.